Hey everyone, I'm Harley here at Peace Fans. Super excited to talk to you today and actually show you the finished Camper 2.0 product. If you've been following us for a while, you know we completely reinvented our flagship camper product and you've seen some in-progress video. But today we're gonna show you the final product. And if you've already ordered one, what you can expect this fall, or if you're thinking about one, what you might see in your garage in 2022. So come join me for the tour. Okay, everyone, before we step inside the van, I wanna talk about the outside of the van. Now you'll notice actually nothing's changed from the first version to the second version. We still have the incredibly comfortable pop top with room for two up there. Can hold about 350 pounds. We like to say two West Coast size adults. Uh, this van comes with an optional awning, a Fiamma F45S comes out about six feet and eight feet long. We're gonna take you on the inside of the van and show you all the new features on the inside. Okay, everyone, now we're inside the van. First, we're gonna start with what hasn't changed in the camper. First of all, the rear seat is identical. I'm gonna show you super fast how comfortable this bed is. Just flip it over, pull down the seat back, and voila, super comfortable bed here. Just love sleeping here. Um, there's no weird lumbar stuff. If you really, really wanna get cozy and you're solo or just two of you, you can pull the mattress from up top down here and have a built-in mattress topper. So this seat identical from the old version to the new version. I'm gonna fold it back up and you'll see how easy that is to do. While you'll also notice the three-point seat belts and the two latch connection points for your car seats. Another feature that hasn't changed at all are these swivel seats. You'll see here, uh, both seats swivel around. This seat swivels 180 degrees. will come perfectly uh, straight to the rear seat. This one, because of the cabinet, only goes about 120 degrees. Seats are very easy to swivel back and forth and really creates an awesome living space in here. Now let's talk about the new cabinet. Um, this is actually the number one change here. First of all, you have a fridge. The fridge is actually slightly bigger than the previous version little built-in freezer compartment, and it's actually, ooh, it's really cold to the touch right now. The configuration of the stove, you'll notice the stove is no longer embedded in. What we offer, and I'll show you on the outside of the van, the second stove, we have two stoves come with the van, one for cooking inside the van. This is a butane stove, really safe for cooking inside, although you'll still want to ventilate it. Uh, you can also actually fit an induction cooktop in this spot too, but if you're going to use the induction cooktop, you will need to be at shore power and have the van plugged in because those things suck a lot of power. Then you have a bunch of really neat cabinetry. Uh, you have a little cubby hole here. You have your sink here. Uh, you have faucet here. You have your little control center here. You see the lights kind of, there's an inside and an outside light. You have four USB ports, your heater control if you have the optional heater. And this is your second battery monitor, which tells you the state of the second battery. Second battery also has Bluetooth capability, so you can see all that on your phone. One new feature we have now available, and this can be retrofitted into any one of the camper vans we sell, and it's exclusive for Peace Vans customers. It's a locking center console. Now, first of all, the person that makes these is an incredible craftsman in Salem, Oregon. These things, I, I swear to God, you can actually drive the van over this box and you can't get into it. So it opens, it locks, you get your little key, you can put whatever you want in there, laptop, wallet, go hiking. No one's gonna get into this box. And then I'm gonna switch over here. You have a bunch of storage under here and your water tank is actually tucked in back here, much bigger water tank. Uh, we often get asked about gray water. There will be an option for gray water, but it will be kind of take up the rest of this cabinet. What I wanted to show you here this van here has slider doors in this matching birch, but we're actually really excited to offer a couple different choices for those doors. Um, I think this is gonna be gorgeous. Well, there's a matching slate to the countertop. So you can talk to the sales team, which is honestly Adam or myself, and um, let us know if you wanted different colors and we'll be able to get that for you as well. A couple other features in the rear of the van, and I'm just lounging in the rear right now, super comfortable. First of all, you notice the integrated curtains. Um, provide privacy, a little bit of thermal protection. We also offer a set of snap-in 100% blackout um, shades if you wanted those as well. The seat still moves into two locations. Because of the bump out of the fridge, you don't actually can't move the seat all the way forward, but you can move it into two locations to create more cargo space in the rear 
or to bring your occupants, i.e. your kids, a little bit closer to you as you're driving. So that's really inside the camper. Now we're gonna take you outside to the driver's side and show you some of the cool new features as well. All right, now we're on the driver's side of the van for probably the biggest change in the Camper 2.0. Yes, a second slider door. If you want the background on why we converted to the, or we changed over to the passenger van, you can read all about it on our website. But we took advantage of that, create a bunch of new features. First of all, you can actually access the cabinet from over here in your water. Um, this is actually your water fill port. You have your second stove, and this is the stove you'll primarily use cooking at the campground. It's a little uh, two burner propane stove. And if you wanted to, you could always sort of, you know, use it here, or you could set it up on this convenient little table here if you wanted to cook. Although most people will take this to the campground and cook. All your electronics, your charge controllers and everything are under here, safely protected and easily accessible if you needed to change out a fuse or reset a setting on that. Now let's come around here. You'll see we've actually changed window styles a little bit. Uh, this has an integrated screen in it. And then in the rear of the van, we took advantage of the new cabinet to design to create a little bit of extra storage. We don't quite know what people are gonna put in these cubbies yet, but we look forward to your pictures of what fits in there and what kind of convenient little uh, doodads you'll put in there. And then finally, if you remember from the camper, earlier camper version, your solar and your shore power connection are welded onto the back of your trailer hitch. Your solar's on this side and your shore power's on this side. So what that does is if you buy the optional solar panel, you're off grid, you just plug that in and you walk your panel into the sun, 25 foot cord charging your second battery. Or if you're at shore power, you just plug the van in, that will charge the second battery and run everything in the van off of that shore power. It will also make the one 110 outlet in the van hot and active. So you might be wondering, wow, why is this van so much bigger than all the other vans I see on the Mercedes lot? This van has the Peace Vans lift kit on it. It raises the van an inch and a half. The Metris has only about four and a half inches of clearance stock, which is not that great. So this gives you, takes you up to about six inches. And then this van also has a uh, Yokohama Geolander tires on it. Gives it a lot more road grippiness, a lot better in snow and ice conditions and adds about another half inch to the van as well. So now this van actually like has a lot of clearance at this point. And we feel, your mileage may vary, no pun intended, it actually changes the way the van feels and drives, not just how it looks. We really enjoy driving the van with the lift kit, with the bigger, wheel, uh, bigger tires, and we strongly recommend it. That's the tour of Camper 2.0, some of the old features that carried forward, a lot of the new features. Hope you enjoyed it. It's super exciting to just create new product, deliver it to you guys. The feedback's been fantastic. Stay tuned for more from us and thanks for joining today.